Now is the uh, age-old Christmas dinner debate. Which cheese it is do you pick for the ultimate cheese board? Well, to settle that dairy dilemma, it's only Phil Vickery. Did you write that link? No, but it was quite it's good, quite wasn't good it? <laughs> Dairy dilemma, I like. <laughs> ah, here we are. So, cheeses. So, uh, these are just a few of them, a selection of ones I quite like at the moment. That's a vegan cheese there, well, which I don't have a problem with, but we'll, we'll come on to those in a second. And we'll talk about accompaniments and also where you can shop slightly savvy and get slightly cheaper cheeses. Just before we start, I want to talk about uh, cheese. So, when you get it out of the fridge an hour beforehand, yeah. some of the harder cheeses, perhaps an hour and a half, the softer cheeses, a half an hour before you want to eat them. The taste is completely different and it makes a massive difference. OK, so get, don't rush, get it out and leave it. Do you make your own chutneys? Sometimes I do, yeah. Not oh, all the time. I think I love a good chutney. Yeah, well, do you make it? Uh, well, no, but if you wanted to bring me in any chutney, then I would eat your chutney. Good, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Anyway, so let's start here. So we're going to work this way here, guys. Right, okay, OK. Guys? So we're going to go for the harder cheese down to the slightly softer versions and then, obviously, the um, accompaniments at the end. Let's start here. This is a hard cheese. Now, this, that's a cheddar cheese. Right. Yeah. Is that where we started on? Cheddar? Barber's cheddar out of mm. Somerset. Great. So it's what mm. I call a box standard cheddar. That nice, is rounded flavour. Lovely. It's, it's not too salty, mm. it's not too sweet. It, it's really quite nice, one of my favourites. Changes. That is the perfect cheese for me. Yeah, that's exactly. Fantastic. So that'll need an hour out the fridge before you're going to start eating it. OK. OK? <laughs> Moving on to the next one here. This is what I call a semi-hard cheese. So this is a Lancashire cheese. A friend of mine called Graham Kirky, old Kirky there. He makes the last unpasteurised um, Lancashire cheese in the land. That's a young, mm. unpasteurised cheese, probably three to four months old. Oh, that's Lemony, so good. Crumbly. So what you've got yeah. here is an open texture rather than a full texture here. So if I just break that, you'll see. See that? Oh, yeah, oh. very crumbly. So that's an open texture rather than a heavily processed... Right. Um, Your mate makes a good cheese, cheese, though. That's good. That's a Lancashire cheese. Now, that's, right. that's what I call a semi-hard cheese. A bit more crumbly. Doesn't leave so much time out of the fridge. It'll warm up. It's a nice fresh. middle of the road, Phil. Yeah, yeah, fresh. Then we move to this one here. This is, um, uh, what's this one here? This is a Lancashire we've just done. This is a Stitchelton. Oh. This is a version of a Stilton. It's made by a guy called Jeff Schneider. Um, and it's a creamier, um, unpasteurised Stilton style cheese. Try it. It's very creamy. I, 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 like Stilton. It's, I, I can do every other okay. cheese. I just can't do blue cheese. Okay. I just I don't know what it is. It's um it's a bit like a bit that's sucky, isn't it? And that's it gets up enough. your nose. I love yeah. it. That feeling. It's, it's a great feeling, isn't it? But it's quite creamy, mm. it's quite zesty. You can spread it, it's delicious. I'm really yeah. I'm, I, one of my favourites. Unpasteurised versus pasteurised, what's the difference? What's it's the difference? huge. If, if, the, the flavour difference is immense when you literally... Right. Tiny bit. OK, like director's tiny, going, have no, a try, have a no try. Blue okay. It. Okay. There's no blue in it. There's no blue in it. It's for a Jess. Is that sure, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, moving on, next one here. Oh, I've no, got... the aftertaste, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is an English brie called Baron by God. Now, this used to be an unpasteurised cheese, and now they've started pasteurising it. There's a guy called um, uh, Johnny Crickmore, makes it out of Suffolk. Beautiful. Now, this cheese needs probably 15 minutes maximum out the fridge. Here, that little taste of that one there. Oh, there yeah, it is. It's a see. very soft, full-flavoured brie-style cheese oh, made I in the UK. love a bit of brie. It's see delicious. Mm. That's English. It's absolutely mm. fantastic. Mm. One of my favourites. You see... It's just smooth as anything. I think... OK, I won't say what I think. It's just... Uh, there's a funny kind of aura around brie that I can't deal with. But that could be because you've just eaten the blue cheese as well. Straight OK. Afterwards. So that will make right. a difference. That's why I give okay. you some water. OK. Well, you haven't got enough to... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> then you've got a camembert-style cheese, which is this one here, with a bog standard camembert. Again, this one's slightly underripe, as you can see inside there. So underripe cheese, you'll just see a little bit inside there that's not actually ripe the way through. But that's quite a nice cheese, bog standard by the supermarket. Doesn't smell. No. Nope. That's important it's a, in our it's, it's what I call a bog-standard camembert. I mean, it's just one of those things. Meh. And would you serve that normally with rosemary, would you, I feel? would bake it with rosemary. It's, it's what I call a baking cheese. Mm. Right. You know, it doesn't really change much. The, the high-end cheeses, it's an absolute travesty to cook with them, because they're so good. You yeah. need to them raw. Oh, uh, sorry, um, just in their natural state. Then I'm moving on to a, a slightly, what I call, a nuttier hard cheese. So you've got Emmentals, your Gruyers, your Tom de Savoie, which is this cheese here. Right. So that has a caramely note to it. Again, it's a, it's a great cheese. I love it. It works with crackers, it works with pickles. Oh. It, it's just lovely. The texture is fun, isn't yeah. it? Reminds me of Tom and Jerry. Yes. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Got all the holes in it. Just keep, yeah. You just keep giving them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, that's right. Mm. That's fine. Then moving on here, we've got a goat's oh, cheese. Do you like that? Mm. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Mm. Now, a lot of people don't like goat's cheese. I love uh, it. My daughter loves goat's cheese. So I've got one here. This is a, a ragstone cheese. Now, this is similar to a Samoa in France. It's a... a, a, a uh, uh, a very soft goat's cheese. Mm. It's quite a nice flavour, mellow flavour. 
it's delicious. Uh, that's, that's by a guy called um, Johnny... What's his name? Um, sorry, Charlie West. Johnny Goats. Charlie West. And I used to buy it years ago when I had my restaurant. And it hasn't changed. It's lovely. I love a goat's cheese, I think. Yeah, yeah that, is, that's what, that is probably my favourite on that board. Cool. Yeah. For fear of annoying you... Go on. I like this goat cheese, but I like it cooked on a bit of a little crostini exactly. with some honey and a little bit of chilli on. I do fear Phil. Right, so that's but fine. Is that OK to that's cook goat's cheese? That's absolutely fine, but if you can do that, you want to buy what they call a, a rui goat's cheese, which is a slice, oh. which is, is quite much firmer. Yeah. This is a lot of softer texture. Mm. So you, I wouldn't I'd cook with this, it's too good. I'd One more question, Fire just away. on behalf of a lot of young people out. Fire away. The rinds. We can yeah. eat the skin. You can eat rinds. Yeah. Absolutely fine. That's part of it. Mm. It blooms on the outside. Then we'll talk about vegan cheese. So here we have a little section of vegan cheeses on the end here. Right. Now, these cheeses you have to get out the fridge straight away. You can't leave them because they go too soft, because they're made okay. with bits and pieces. It's not made with milk, obviously. I mean, I, I think it's rather it's okay. If you want a spreadable cheese, it does the job. It's not too bad at all. Mm. Okay. Now, if you're going to store your cheeses, I don't use cling film, I use a bit of greaseproof paper, put it back in the fridge. That way the cheese still breathes. How is it made, that vegan cheese, then, if you don't mind I have me no asking? idea. Oh, OK. OK. <laughs> there we go. Let's <laughs> I'll find out, though. <laughs> right. yeah. It doesn't taste like cheese or feel like cheese. No. It, I'm not saying it's not no, it's nice. It's fine. Just... If, if you want that, it's absolutely fine mm. to you. Well, now, I, 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 I actually used to make uh, vegan cheese and I made it with cashew nuts. I I think and it was it, lovely. Do you know what? I think it is cashew milk based. I right, think. okay. I yeah. Think. Right. Garnishes. Now, I'm going to upset a few people here, but I love them. So, with all these cheeses, I've got different types of biscuits. So, I've got um, a sourdough cracker, which are quite new to the market, a couple of years now. They're quite nice and love a bit of crunch. You've got your good old um, cream cracker, which I quite like, a water biscuit. Sometimes the digestive, which oh. is a sweeter biscuit with perhaps a blue cheese. Oh, really or with cheddar, well. Phil, and a bit of chutney. Exactly. Talking of which, my father loves his bats to pickle. Dad, just for you, here we go. There's his bats to pickle to go on his cheddar. Radishes I love. Green apples I love as well, which are quite nice with a, a sort of acidic edge to things. Um, here's a great thing, which I have. Christmas cake, with or without the icing, with a thin slice of cheddar. Never. Yeah, my mother and grandmother used to love that as well. Nuts, I either use um, that, walnuts or pecan nuts because they're quite oily texture. And I just want to draw your attention to one thing. This is just what I'm going to show you here. These are two cheeses which are, come from the same factory. Check the codes which are on there. They're the same cheese made in France for two different supermarkets. And one is a pound cheaper than the other. The recipe might change slightly, but a pound difference from the same factory. So check the codes which are down all there. Right. Oh, there I'm, I'm all right. I'm, are I'm you actually sure? all, yeah, yeah. Christmas I'm, cake I'm, and cheese. Bit, you don't want to do. I'm, I'm a bit cheesed out now. I'm a are bit you? cheesed out. There you go. I right. really enjoyed nice that, selection. Phil Vickery. Bit of fun. Thank you very much. My Lovely. Pleasure. And I can't wait to try some of your chutney. That's genius. Christmas because I don't like Christmas cake, but cheese, yeah. all right. Very yeah. good. Hold on. Yeah.